Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm an assistant researcher at the Faculty of Industrial Design Engineering at the TU Delft. In this series of video tutorials, I am going to guide you to work your way around the software tool DNet. The series is split up into seven different modules covering seven different subjects. This first module is an introduction to DNet and introduces an overarching case study which will come back in most of the other videos. The second module is about the 1D database tool and how to use it to explore variation in different populations and measures. Module 3 is about the two-dimensional anthropometrics tool ELLIPS, used for comparison of two different data sets. This tool is especially convenient for determining sizing and adjustability options. In module 4, I will show you how the profiler tool can be used to map individual measurements on a whole population. This is very useful to determine the representation of your test panel to the wider public. In module 5, 3D anthropometrics will be introduced. Using a combination of single dimensional measures, a 3D mannequin can be created for further analysis or to use for CAD modeling. Module 6 will incorporate posture to study the maximum and comfortable limits of reach in product usage, using reach envelopes and add-ups. Finally, I will tell you how to get most of the user forum in Module 7. DNet is a very convenient software tool created by professors of the Faculty of Industrial Design Engineering. It helps designers and other people in the field of ergonomics to use large sets of anthropometric data in a more convenient and visualized way. DNet can be used for many different cases and purposes. I will help you get started, but don't forget to try it out yourself to create some great results. Where can you find DNet? DNet is an open sourced web page which you can find in your browser. So just Google DNet or fill in this link. After opening this web page, it is first time to create a user account. This can be done in the menu, scroll all the way to the bottom and click sign up. Just fill in all these boxes and click sign up. Now that you've created a user account, I can guide you through the different options in the menu. On the page About Us, you can find information about the creators of DNet and how to get in touch with them. On the right side, you can find a timeline on which the developments of DNet are explained. On the page How It Works, you can find short descriptions of all the different tools, from 1D to 4D anthropometrics. But you can also find more sources and where the raw data comes from. Now it's time to look at the different tools. In the menu you can see the 1D database, ellipse, mannequin, profiler and reach envelopes. These are all tools to analyze and visualize anthropometric data in a different way and will be covered separately in the different modules. And lastly, we have a user forum, where all DNet users can interact and share their results. The best way to cite your findings from DNet is to cite the database behind it. For this, you can go to the website data.4tu.nl and browse for DNet. And on this page, you can find the raw data sets that are used in DNet. If you wish, you can download one of the databases as an Excel file. But to cite it, just click on the database that you used in your study and click Cite. To clarify the different tools of the DNet software in the coming modules, an example will be provided in each video. These examples will be part of an overarching case study. 
Bicycle helmets are a good example of products that are often designed by using just 1D anthropometrics, using the head breadth and the head depth of a group of subjects. A standard mannequin with average dimensions is created to represent the subject group. This mannequin is then used to design the helmet around. However, as soon as you reduce your data to a single mannequin, information about measurement spread and outliers will get lost. Besides that, users with a slight diversion ratio of head breadth and depth will probably experience difficulty fitting any of the sizes. Using DNets, we can get a more detailed understanding of head anthropometrics, studying in-group and between-group variations and correlations. And using 3D data, multiple representative mannequins will be created to use as a design tool for CAD software, such as SOLIDWORKS. Thanks guys for watching the first video. I hope it helped you get a first understanding of DNet. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the user forum using the link on the screen. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.